Hi guys, how are you? Today we are reading a book called Career Day, and it's written by Anne Rockwell, and the pictures are by Lizzie Rockwell. And if you notice, they have the same last name, so I'm guessing they might be related, which is pretty cool to write a book with your family member. Okay, let's get started. Career Day. <gasps> Here we go. When special visitors come to our school, they tell us about the work they do. Then we tell them about the work that we do. Today it's my turn to introduce my visitor. Here's the class all waiting. Uh, what if I forget what I'm supposed to say? Sometimes that happens, not just to me, Mrs. Madoff says, but to everyone. Sometimes when people are talking in front of a crowd, we're in a classroom, wherever, they get a little bit nervous and they forget what they're going to say. And Mrs. Madoff is right, that does happen to a lot of people. Alright. Here he is, right on time. Uh, this is my dad, I say. He drives a big bulldozer. He's helping build our new library. Good morning, Mr. Lopez, everyone says. Good morning, boys and girls, my dad says. Next, we meet Charlie's visitor. His mother is a judge who works in a courtroom and wears a long black robe. If there's too much noise, she pounds her gavel and says, order in the court, and then everyone has to be quiet. When Kate introduces her visitor, she says, my dad plays bass in an orchestra at nighttime. He practices all day and he takes care of my baby brother while our mother goes to work at the bank. And there he is playing his music. So see, there's a lot of different jobs that people do, right? All right. Michiko's mom writes books for us to read. So she's called an author. She draws the pictures in them too. Wait, so she's an author and an illustrator. How neat is that? She is very good at drawing mice. Look, there's her, her little studio, her art studio. And one of our special guests that we have is a mouse. He heard there was a mouse in the book and he wanted to stop by and check it out. Thanks for coming, little mouse. All right, who's next? Let's see. Mrs. Madoff, uh, Mrs. Madoff's visitor is her husband. He's a scientist called a paleontologist. Whoa, what's going on here? <gasps> Do you guys know what a paleontologist is? It's a scientist who studies fossils. Uh-huh. How do you guys know that? Because they study us. Ha, 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 ha. They study you? Yes. yes. Whoa. Well, dinosaurs are fun to study. Thanks yeah. for coming by, guys. Bye. Bye. Okay. So, Mrs. Madoff's husband just got back from South America, where he was digging for dinosaur bones. The bones tell us about dinosaurs that lived a long, long time ago. So look, he's, he's digging up bones and he's going to study them. That's a pretty cool job. I would like that job. All right. Sarah's visitor is our crossing guard. She brings Sarah to school every day because she is also Sarah's grandmother. That's why Sarah is always the first one to school and the last one to go home in the afternoon. So look, there's her job. Look, she's helping the kids cross the street and she's making sure everybody's safe. <laughs> oh, grandma's! Grannies are taking over. Okay. We'll help you cross the road, little grandmas. All right. Evelyn's mother is a nurse in the hospital. She takes care of all the newborn babies in our town. Oh, that's a sweet job. She tells us those babies are very, very cute. Uh-huh, so cute. Oh. <laughs> 
But they sure do cry a lot when they're hungry. Oh, they sure do. Jessica's mother takes care of animals. She's a veterinarian, the kind of doctor who makes sick animals better. Oh, can you see what she's looking at? Can you guys tell what animal that is? Well, we have another special guest today, and it's, it's not Mousy. I mean, he was our first special guest. But, oh, wait a second. There's a veterinarian. Hello. Hello. What are you doing here today? I wasn't expecting you. He actually wasn't our special guest, but it's very nice to have him here. I have a very important patient I have to see today. Oh, okay. Well, who is it? <gasps> oh my goodness. Look at his special, look at his little special um patient. It is a little guinea pig. Are you going to check him out today? Uh-huh. Oh, look, he's... He's petting his patient. Oh, oh, he's hugging his patient. What a sweet little patient he's got there. Thanks for stopping by, little guinea pig. All right, what's next? Okay, Sam's visitor drives the sanitation truck that carries our garbage to the big town dump. Kate and Evelyn and I wave to him, just as we always do whenever he comes down our street. Hey kids, remember to recycle, Sam's father says. Oh, our little guinea pig guest is making some noise over there. It's very, very important to recycle. And it's very nice. We always like to wave to our garbage men too. And you know what? They always wave back. You should try it next time you see them. Give them a little wave and a smile. All right. Evan's father wears a leather apron that holds the tools that he uses all the time. He shows us how to hammer a nail. Hey kids, building things is fun. <laughs> it sure is. You can get creative and build whatever you want. Whatever your little mind can think of. When it's time for Nicholas to introduce his visitor, he says, oh, I bet you've all bought groceries at the friendly farm market. Guess what? My father is the manager at the store. Okay, so there's grocery stores, but then can you guys think of any other careers that involve food that maybe, like, where food is used? Can you think of anything? I use food at my restaurant. I'm a chef. You know when you order at a restaurant, I'm the one who makes the food. Very. Being a chef is so much fun. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by, Chef. I bet it is fun to make all those fancy dishes and yummy dishes and all kinds of stuff. That would be a fun job. Today is Mr. Cisco's turn to introduce his special visitor. He says, good morning, everyone. I'd like you to meet Professor Alcorn. He's my teacher at college. Hey, the kid said. I never knew that grown-ups had teachers, too. Look, there's the grown-ups in the classroom. So see, even though they're grown-up, they have a teacher in college. Grown-ups sure have interesting work to do, and so do we. So now look, the kids are showing them what they do all day. And the adults get to play with them. I wonder what I'll be when I grow up. There's all the different jobs. And what are you going to be when you grow up? Are you going to be any of these? Look, I see a firefighter. Look, that looks like another veterinarian and a chef and a um, construction worker. Could be anything you want. What do you want to be when you grow up? And that is the end of our book. Thank you guys so much for reading with us. I hope you liked it. I hope you liked all our surprise guests. Come back and read with us again soon. Should we say goodbye to the mouse? Goodbye, mousy mouse. And what about our little guinea pig friend over here? Goodbye, guinea pig. Let's see. Bye. Can, oh, do you hear him? He's making a sound. I think that's how he says goodbye. Goodbye. Little sweetheart. <laughs> all right. Bye-bye, guys. Thanks.